did you see or were you made aware of the full Neville email? No, no I, I was not aware of that at the time. It was the moment James Murdoch denied to a committee of MPs that he was aware of the extent of phone hacking by News International employees. Three years ago, he was unaware, he said, of the evidence that made it plain. But now other documents in the hands of MPs seem to suggest that wasn't the case. Clive Goodman lost his job as royal editor at the News of the World in 2007 after being convicted for his part in hacking phones belonging to the royal household. But appealing his dismissal, he wrote... This practice, phone hacking, was widely discussed in the daily editorial conference until explicit reference to it was banned by the editor. Tom Crone, the paper's lawyer, and the editor promised on many occasions that I could come back to a job at the newspaper if I did not implicate the paper or any of its staff in my mitigation plea. I did not, and I expect the paper to honour its promise to me. Andy Coulson is the editor referred to. He lost his job at the News of the World and as David Cameron's press secretary over his involvement in phone hacking. Now a Commons Committee says the document and others could be enough to bring James Murdoch back for a second grilling. When we have all that information, obviously James Murdoch, as the uh, uh, most senior member uh, of News Corp, uh, is there to respond on behalf of the company and I'm, I suspect we will want to put those questions to him. MPs could also be speaking for a second time to former News of the World lawyer Tom Crone and editor Colin Myler, who say they had told James Murdoch about the extent of hacking. What we have to look at is not just whether the evidence was wrong, but why wrong evidence was put forward in the first place. If that was a deliberate decision by the company to mislead Parliament, then uh, su uh, substantial questions have to, be, have to be asked. That sounds like a deliberate cover-up. Exactly what company executives knew about phone hacking and when. That's what the committee admits it still doesn't know and has to find out. Damon Green, ITV News.